A recluse by nature, this enigmatic painter has always preferred to tread his own lonely path. He thrives in his world of silence, mystic, fantasist, yet grounded with his root and surroundings. Tempered by the magical play of light and shadows, and a lyricism that draws its inspiration from the sordid realities of life and death. Ganesh Pine is one of India's foremost contemporary painters of the century and one of the finest exponents of the Bengal school of art. With astounding skill, he has merged both East and West in his works, but essentially, the language of his art has remained Indian. He is known for his small tempera paintings, along with watercolor and gouache, all of which is rich in imagery and symbols. A student of the Government College of Art and Craft in Kolkata, in his initial years he was influenced by the two greats, Aurobindo-nath and Gagarin-nath, and later got exposed to the world of Hal's Rembrandt and Paul Klee. The artist is highly influenced by the rich storehouse of folklore and mythology of Bengal, stories that his grandmother told him in his childhood. She opened his third eye, fed his dreams, and turned out to be his biggest inspiration. In 1963, he joined the Society for Contemporary Artists. This was the period of experimentation, and one of the most fruitful periods in his life as an artist. His exposure and experience as a young animator in Kolkata finally liberated him and helped him develop two important stylistic features: distortion and exaggeration. The artist's signature style is shaped from his own experiences of solitude, alienation, pain, and the moods of tenderness and serenity. He uses these to explore the deep abysses of his fantastical imagination. to create uncanny images of grotesque creatures a skeleton element was introduced into the figures with intriguing eyes animals showed their fangs and claws they were portrayed either as predators or victims an institution in himself ganesh pine has created a legacy that few can match and has influenced many a young artist this solitary and artist has carved a niche for himself and he acknowledges his philosophy of creations when he asserts i am only whole when i am painting <laughs>